if you use Windows Vista, the default uh, search application on your desktop is Windows Vista Desktop Search, uh, which is probably okay for most people. I found it a nuisance and uh, indeed uh, seemed to be the cause of a major performance hit on my desktop machine, which is running uh, Windows Vista uh, Home Premium Edition currently, uh, Service Pack 1. So uh, I had uh, previously found a way to uh, disable the desktop search. Uh, it was a bit of a complicated way that I had done it, using uh, going into services and uh, switching off the desktop search, setting it to manual. The reason I did that is that I use uh, Copernic desktop search, been using it for a long time. Uh, but I found another way of doing it uh, through a uh, Windows, no a Microsoft knowledge base article on how to change your default uh, for desktop search if you've got Service Pack 1 of Vista installed, which I do. So I thought I'd try this uh, to see. And the reason I'm doing this is that Windows Update uh, offered and installed, or rather I told it to install, an update to Windows desktop search. So I wanted to be sure that this hadn't taken over the default and I was back to that again. So uh, the, the way is actually quite straightforward. There are two options that uh, the Knowledge Base article offers. Both seem to be the same, so it's an either or. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just show you uh, how to do this in the order that these are presented. So what you do is you go into Control Panel, although you can get to this also from the Windows Start menu, but you go into Control Panel and uh, choose Default Programs. So we click on that and uh, then uh, the first option to change it is to click on the associated file type or protocol with a program. Uh, so you click on that, wait for uh, it to load its database, uh, which takes a few minutes, particularly if you've not run it before. And here you get a list of every single file extension uh, that, your that Windows knows about on your computer. So you're going to scroll right down towards the bottom until you get to the list of protocols uh, here. And here you're going to then scroll down that protocol list until you see search. And there you can see Windows Search Protocol. It is already associated with Copernic Desktop Search, so uh, the update hadn't taken over. But if you hadn't done this, it would show um, the um, uh, Vista uh, would be the one for that. Uh, so what you would do is change it. So we don't need to do that. But that seems to be pretty straightforward. Uh, the other option that you could do according to the Microsoft Knowledge Base is click on set your default programs and again wait for that to load. Uh, click on the one you want, in my case Copernic, uh, Copernic Desktop Search. Uh, you might have Google Desktop Search uh, or another search program, whichever you want to choose uh, to use, select that one. And then rather than set this program as default, the Knowledge Base article says choose defaults for this program. So you click on that and you'll be presented with search and as you can see this is already set for that if it hadn't it would have uh, it would show uh, i guess uh, the uh, the default that's already in place so if you're doing this the first time you click that and choose the save button but as we've already done it i'm not going to do that i'll go back to cancel so that seems to be um, uh, the best way of doing it uh, so the two options uh, according to the Microsoft Knowledge Base, first is associate a file type or protocol with a program and go through that process or set your default program. And that, according to this, should take care of any changes you want to make uh, to the default search you use on your Windows desktop using Vista SP1.